I'm Jim Cohn. I'm a professor of psychology at the University of Virginia. And uh, if I was to describe uh, what I do here, what my work is about, I'd have to first point out that the brain is really a body moving machine. And brains move bodies uh, in response to demands perceived uh, by the environment, by the environment around them. And one of the things that we're really uh, aware of um, in our environments are potential dangers. And one of the things that we study is how the brain changes its decision about what the body needs to do depending on who else is around. It turns out if we're all by ourselves, then we perceive potential dangers in the environment to demand a lot of things from our bodies. And when, our, those, when we perceive a lot of demands, the brain has to activate in ways that get our bodies ready, prepared to meet those demands. It turns out when other people are around us, especially other people that we know and trust to act on our behalf, that we've found the brain literally perceives fewer demands placed on the body based on the potential dangers in the environment. And so it is less active in uh, sort of activating the body to meet those demands. So the first thing that we find is that other people seem to make it seem to our brain like there's less to worry about in the environment and there's less for our bodies to do. And that helps us save energy, which is something that all creatures need to do, all biological or organisms need to do. The second big thing that we found is that one of the things that we need to do when we perceive a lot of de demands from the environment is w regulate our emotional feelings. So it's not only that we perceive that we have things to do when, when the environment is potentially dangerous. We have to you know, run away or hide or you know, deal with something that, that's potentially problematic. But we also, if we're having an emotional response, we have to regulate our response. Maybe, maybe we're feeling angry or maybe we're feeling afraid or, or something like that. Well, to regulate our uh, uh, emotional responses also takes neural work. Our brain has to work to, to regulate those emotional feelings. And what we've also been finding is that being around other people, especially if they're people that we know and trust, our brain seems to work less hard to regulate our feelings. It's like we get to an emotion regulatory place without having to expend the effort to get there that we would if we were all by ourselves or around people we didn't know or didn't trust. So we're really learning about how the presence of other people that we know and trust sort of economizes our brain's uh, effort in dealing with the demands of the environment and regulating our own emotional lives.